Today we'll be explaining the entire story of solo leveling job change arc in less than 10 minutes. Well, no time to waste. Let's get started. Jin Wu receives a quest notification from the system for a job change and is transported to an instant dungeon. Inside, he encounters an armored knight whose armor is too strong for his dagger to penetrate. But otherwise, the knight isn't a particularly strong opponent. Jin Wu ditches his dagger in favor of the trusty good old hands and rips off its helmet, destroying it. Since he isn't allowed to leave the dungeon until he clears it, and also isn't allowed to use the system's potions or store features to restore his health while undergoing the job change dungeon, Jin Wu has no choice but to be mindful of skills that consume a lot of mana, as the dungeon's difficulty is still unknown. As he mumbles about how long it would take for him to clear the dungeon, he is met by more armored knights. Jin Wu sucker punches the first knight, sending it flying into the one behind it. He then knees and twists off the head of the other two knights. Once everything is over, he notices they dropped some items, such as a B-rank armor chestplate and 30,000 coins. As he appraises the items, an armored knight tries to use a stealth skill to sneak up behind him, but Jin Wu stabs it in the face with his dagger. A magician joins the fray, hurling a fireball at Jin Wu, which he easily dodges. More knights join the fight, but Jin Wu manages to defeat them, although it leaves him exhausted. He tries to take a short break, but is interrupted by an arrow flying straight for his face. After defeating the next round of monsters, Jin Wu acquires even more items from the drops. He finally reaches the boss room to face the blood red commander, Egress. Jin Wu is scared when he sees the boss monster's name written in red, since that means it's about to fuck him up. His attempts to stab Egress end in futility, as Egress proves to be stronger in every way possible. Jin Wu ditches his weapons again for his hands, and Egress, the ever respectful knight, follows suit, discarding his weapons and cape to go head to head with Jin Wu. Egress rushes at Jin Wu, sending him flying across the room, and then rushes him again to give him a beating, but Jin Wu's armor protects him. Since Egress surpasses him in strength, Jin Wu tries to use speed to overpower him but is still unable to even land a single scratch. An annoyed Egress slams Jin Wu against the wall, causing him to fall on the throne in the room. But as Egress is about to cut his neck, Jin Wu coolly stops Egress's sword with his mostly bare hands. This allows him to launch a surprise counterattack and stab Egress in the eye. Jin Wu then sumo slams Egress, stabbing him several more times under the chin. Against all odds, Jin Wu defeats the Blood Red Commander, Egress, earning a reward of 1.5 million gold coins, a heartstone, the Dominator Touch Skill, and Egress's S rank helmet. Confused as to why he was given a heartstone that would allow him to leave the dungeon when he had already defeated the boss monster, Jin Wu realizes that the quest is not yet over. Immediately, several portals open up around him, and the system sends a notification that the real job quest is about to be. Again. The system explains that the longer he lasts in the fight, the more points he can obtain, placing him in a higher tier job. So, kinda like the SATs. The timer begins to count, and monsters start pouring out. Recognizing the chance to obtain a hidden class, Jin Wu uses part of his precious mana to hide with the stealth skill. However, a magician monster uses a detection skill to smoke him out. Despite only five minutes passing since the quest began, Jin Wu is tempted to use the Heartstone to escape due to the quest's difficulty. Fearing he won't get another chance to leave his pathetic life as a loser behind and become stronger, Jin Wu decides to continue to fight. Just as he is about to be defeated, the system reminds him that he did not complete his daily task, and as a result, he will be sent to the penalty zone. Saved by the same system that nearly killed him moments ago, Jin Wu uses the opportunity to open the store and buy potions to restore his fatigue since he is technically no longer in the dungeon. Although his health isn't restored, Jin Wu decides to go monster hunting in the penalty zone, believing that leveling up would restore his health. He spends the entire four hours hunting all the centipede monsters, 
Taking a brief break, he buys a new weapon and finally breaks the skill acquired from killing Egress and gains the Dominator's Touch, which is basically a telekinesis skill. As soon as the penalty ends, Jin Wu is returned to the dungeon, where the monsters seem to have multiplied, eagerly waiting for him. A much stronger Jin Wu effortlessly cuts down the first two knights that charge at him. He quickly realizes that killing the knights gives him no experience points. So he first needs to kill the magicians, as they keep summoning more knights. Once he kills the first magician, all the knights it summoned are also destroyed. Jin Wu uses his stealth skill, prompting the magicians to use their detection skill, allowing Jin Wu to locate their hiding spots. He kills the nearest magician and uses his Dominator's Touch skill to crush the knight's head in its path. During the fight, Jin Wu is stabbed from behind by a knight, which he quickly destroys. He then proceeds to kill another magician, leaving only three. Desperate, the remaining magicians band together to summon a Golem Knight. Jin Wu uses the opportunity to kill the last three magicians, bringing an end to the quest as all monsters have been killed. The system tallies up his score and offers him the job of a necromancer, one who can control the dead. Feeling necromancers are weak since they usually hide behind their summons, Jin Wu tries to decline the job. However, the system warns him that the necromancer class is a hidden one and asks him if he still wishes to decline. Now intrigued by the possibility of not only being able to level up himself, but his summons as well, which would allow him to solo dungeons, Jin Wu accepts the job change and becomes a necromancer. He is immediately promoted to Shadow Lord because he cleared the dungeon and defeated all the monsters. His new powers allow him to hear the dead souls of the monsters, so he uses the skill to summon some of the knights. Realizing the golden ticket he has in his hands, Jin Wu rushes to summon Egress. His first attempt to summon Egress fails because Egress is much stronger than the rest of the knights. The second attempt also fails, leaving Jin Wu with one last chance. Changing tactics, Jin Wu tells Egress to stop protecting the throne of his former master, who has died, and instead protect him. The tactic works, and Jin Wu successfully adds Egress as his first major shadow. If you like this video, do leave a comment, and don't forget to like or subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next arc of solo leveling.